it's Saturday, February 6th. Let's get in our weekend edition of the quest calendar. Let's get our daily dose of dungeon crawling and our RDA of RPG. All right, so we are well rested and leveled up. Let's see what our next quest may be. Just one page. All right, so it looks like we're gonna hang out in the tavern for the weekend. It says we're gonna spend some time in the tavern getting to know some of the locals, travelers, and other adventurers. Maybe you can learn a bit about the world, city, and its inhabitants. And then the text box over here says, for each character in the tavern, either roll for persuasion, which would be a d20 plus your charisma, or intimidation, which is a d20 plus your strength. But be careful, some patrons may be hostile as they are drinking, after all. And there are four of them that we're gonna roll for. And we have the ability reminder that says persuasive, intimidating, or pickpocket. All right, so new level, we're gonna go different tower, different dice just to see uh, how we do with this, and because I want to use something different. So, Jasper has a zero to strength and a plus one to charisma, so we're going to try and be persuasive and work our way right down this list here. We're going to start out trying to persuade the heart player. So, d20 plus one. And we come up with six. So we go over here and we check the results, and it says for the heart player, if your result is between 5 and 11, you're ignored while he continues to play music. Okay, so back over here to the tower. The harp player is kind of indifferent to us. And we're going to move on to the elf scout. Again, trying to persuade them. So we roll 19 plus 1 gives us our 20. And looking at the results again for the scout, if the result is 12 or more, you should go see the head guard, Rufus, to make some decent coin working for the city. They've been having all sorts of weird trouble lately, and you can make good money like I have. Now I'm here to spend that coin. All right, so we just make some pleasant conversation with that guy. He tells us he might have a side job for us, but he doesn't really give us any more information oh. to it. Back to the tower. Let's see what we can do with the market girl as we try and persuade her. We don't get very far there. We're going to use our lucky ability and re-roll that. So using our lucky roll. We get a 5. Alright, so what does that mean? Well, for the market girl, if the result is between 5 and 12, she ignores you since she has her eyes set on some handsome looking elf across the room and it seems nothing can distract her from him. Anyway, Back to the tower for our last character, which is the Armored Dwarf. So we'll see if we can persuade this guy. Something tells me that five isn't going to be good enough. So for the Armored Dwarf, if the result is between five and eleven, he is busy having a drinking contest and getting drunk. His words get a bit sloppy and he passes out quickly. Alright, so not a whole lot going on today. At least not for me. I hang out in the tavern, I talk to a couple of people, and I don't really get any information from them. How'd you guys do? Let me know down there in the comments. Maybe it's just because my roles were kind of middle of the road, and I really wasn't able to get anywhere in conversation with those guys, but did you guys get anything useful out of them? If you have the pickpocket ability, how much money did you make today? You've got to be sitting on a pretty good stack of cash right now. Hopefully we can come up with some place where we can go out and buy something useful to help us out on our quest. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Remember, there won't be a video tomorrow because the Quest Calendar doesn't play on Sundays. And I will look for you guys on Monday. See you then.